I'm Lisa. Welcome to C3 Kids Church Online. I'm coming to you from Community Christian Church in White Marsh, Maryland, where we're all about helping people find their way back to God. C3 Kids Online is the place for kindergartners through third graders to learn all about Jesus and how much He loves us. This month, we're learning all about the Life app of cooperation. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Have you ever tried to do something by yourself, but it was too hard? Then someone else had to help you? and suddenly it was easy. That's what happens when we cooperate. In fact, God made us to cooperate and work together. We can do so much more together than we can do alone. This month, we have a memory verse that reminds us how much better it is when we work together. Check it out. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. So I was thinking that one of the places where we see cooperation the most is in music, specifically a band or an orchestra. Think about it. It takes a lot of different people and instruments to make music. They all work together to make an amazing sound. Speaking of sound, I thought we'd play a fun game that uses sounds from various instruments, and you have to guess what the instrument is. Want to play? All right, let's do this. Round one, here's your first sound. What did you guess? If you guessed a guitar, you got it, way to go. Okay, round two, here's your next instrument. Did you get it? It was a piano. Well done, everyone. Okay, one more round. Here's our final instrument, and this one might be a bit harder. See if you can guess it. Did you guess a trombone? That's what it was. Good job, guys. Well, that was fun, but we're just getting started. Now it's time to sing a worship song together. We sing worship songs to help us think about how awesome God is and also as a way for us to tell Him how much we love Him. And today's song is a brand new song for us called Love Like You. So let's stand up and sing along when you catch on. So 
I love that song. I love music. I love the way all of the instruments and voices come together to make a beautiful sound. You know, in today's story, we'll hear about some people who had to really learn to work together. But when they did, they created something amazing. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Exodus. Though the Israelites had been slaves in Egypt for hundreds of years, God had led them to freedom in the desert, and now they had to build new lives and a new place where God could live among them. So God called out to their leader, Moses. Come up to me on the mountain. A thick cloud covered the mountain as God spoke with Moses. Tell the Israelites, you have seen for yourselves how I carried you on the wings of eagles and brought you to myself. Now obey me completely. If you do, then out of all the nations, you will be my special treasure. God gave Moses many rules and laws that would help keep the people safe, but God gave the most detailed instructions for something very special. Have them make a sacred tent for me. I will live among them. Make the holy tent and everything that belongs to it exactly like the pattern I will show you. Okay, ready, taking notes. Make ten curtains out of finely twisted linen with blue, purple, and bright red yarn. Sew cherubim into the pattern. The curtains must be 42 feet long and six feet wide. Make loops out of blue strips. Ugh, Moses' head must have spun as God gave him very complicated blueprints for a beautiful tent, uh, for all the things that would go inside the tent, and for the elaborate robes the priests would wear. Curtains, uh, lampstands, bowls, uh, altars, incense, robes. God, I, I don't even know where to start. God knew Moses couldn't take on this huge job alone. In fact, God already had it covered. Phew! After Moses had heard all of God's instructions, he came down the mountain and told his assistant, Joshua, Gather all the people. On it. God is going to make a home right here among us. We'll build an epic, amazing, ginormous tent for God. Who wants to volunteer? Maybe you should be a little more specific. Uh, good point. Uh, one thing at a time. Uh, Aaron? Moses pointed out his brother, standing near the front. Right here! God has chosen you and your sons to serve as priests in the sacred tent. Oh, we're honored, but, oh, oh well, uh, we need the tent first. Exactly. We'll need a skilled craftsman to head up the whole project. Moses looked out over the crowd. Bezalel, son of Uri. The name spread through the vast crowd, and in moments, a young man with bright eyes and strong hands leapt off a rock and came forward. Bezalel, son of Uri, tribe of Judah, at your service. God has chosen you to lead everyone crafting the holy tent. Wow, okay, uh, gonna need half a second here. Uh, don't worry, God's filled you with his spirit, with wisdom, understanding, knowledge, all kinds of skill. You're talking about me? Can you make beautiful patterns in gold, silver, and bronze? Well, yes. Can you cut and set stones? Yep. Work with wood? Absolutely. Craft as if Pinterest were already a thing? Theoretically, yes. God will give you all the help you need, starting with uh, a holy ab. Another man stepped up, smile lines crinkling his face. Hey, man, that's me. Yeah, God also had chosen you and given you special skill in all kinds of crafts. Oh, <laughs> totally rare. And to top it off, God has given both of you the ability to teach others everything you know. All right, we're so on it. We'll train up an entire team. <laughs> there was just one catch. We need to lay in supplies. Yeah, anyone seen a house depot? 
How about a tense to go? God will take care of it. Uh, uh, we, we need everyone to help. Please bring an offering for the Lord from what you have. Quickly, people came forward to give to the work of the holy tent. Uh, take these gold earrings and this necklace. I can haul in loads of acacia wood on my donkey. I've been saving this purple yarn. I picked the olives for this olive oil. In fact, the people had brought so much, the workers couldn't use it all. Stop! Please, we have more than enough. So under the guidance of Bezalel and Oholiab, a team of men and women stepped up to create the tent. They carved tables and altars and curtain bases. They crafted golden lampstands and bronze bowls. They spun and wove yards and yards of bright colored linen curtains. They sewed special robes for the priests and compounded beautiful incense to burn on the altar. At last, the tent of meeting was complete. Moses and all the people gathered together once more. You have done the work just as God commanded. May God bless you all. When everything was finally in place and the priests were ready, a cloud covered the tent and it filled with the glory of God that everyone could see. What a story. What an amazing example of cooperation. The people followed God's instructions, and because they worked together, they had a special place where they could worship God together. They needed lots of people with lots of different skills and talents. They needed people who could build, people who could sew, they needed people who could decorate, and people who could teach other people how to do all of those things. In the end, the Israelites were able to complete this big job because everyone came together to do it. That reminds me of our bottom line today. God wants us to work together. I mean, think about, think about this for a minute. Think about Jesus. Jesus is God's son, but even he chose to cooperate with other people. He chose to work together with a group of 12 disciples as he traveled around and taught people about God. We all have things we're good at, and when we work together, we can accomplish big things. We can do way more with each other than we could ever do on our own. To help you discover more about that, we have some resources linked in the description of this video. So check them out. Be sure to come back here next week for another episode of C3Kids Online. See you then. Bye.